Okay, everybody, um, I'm doing a tutorial on views in uh, Titanium because it seems like I get a lot of questions about it. Um, so instead of just answering questions individually, I'm just going to make a video. Um, first thing I like to do is make a um, overview. So bar overview equals ti.ui.create view. And we have options for the view. Um, to start, I'm just going to do with uh, ti.ui.fill. Height is the same. And I'm going to make it a background um, of white. So this will be the initial view. And what fill does is it tells it um, for the width, ti.ui fill, it tells it to, tells this view to fill up the the parent window um, and the same with height so essentially the whole screen should be um, should be white uh, if we add it to the window so win add overview okay we're gonna recompile that if I can get it to work here we go So um, basically, this is just going to be a white screen popping up in a second. White screen. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to look at is just adding a basic view to the overview. So we're going to have a view inside of view. So var um, var header equals ti dot ui dot create view again. Okay, and we have, uh, I'm going to do, let's do width of ti.ui.fill again, uh, just like the top one, so it should take up the whole width. And I'm just going to do a height of uh, 200, and I'm going to do a background color of red. Um, and then I'm going to add that to overview header. Okay, so what we're going to have is a, um, a window that pops up with the overview, which is going to be a view of the whole thing, covering the whole window. Inside that, we're going to have a uh, header, which is going to have a height of 200. So it's going to take up 200 pixels on that screen, and it should fill up the whole width of its parent container, which is overview. So we'll go ahead and start that. Okay, so we have uh, the red uh, bar in the middle, and it's taking up the whole parent, and its height is 200. So um, that's all we have so far. Let's add another view. Let's see. Var Let's call this one body equals ti.ui.create view. Okay. We'll basically do the same thing, but we're going to make this one blue. And overview.add body. And I think here's the very first thing that starts to trip people up. So we're going to save this and we're going to run it. Um, I do most of my testing for this kind of thing on the iPhone simulator because it compiles and builds a lot faster, but so far everything should be the same for iPhone and Android if you're testing on Android. Um, yeah, maybe in a little bit I'll run an Android test. So let's see, is this almost up? Okay, okay, there's the first problem. The problem we're having is that most people expect the red one to be on top of the blue one, something like maybe how you would see in divs. Um, or I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, the red one will be like on top and the blue one will be just below that, like you'd see on divs on the web. Um, but that doesn't happen in this, and what's actually happening is uh, the overviews adding uh, this one, and then it's adding this one right in the exact same spot. Um, 
so that's you know no good so maybe we'll try a um, here's the first thing a lot of people do is top to zero you know they see the top attribute in the API and you go top zero okay that'll solve that problem and then we'll do the top uh, 200 on this one right great and maybe that will give us what we want initially but um, this this will quickly lead to a lot of problems um, so we'll see how this pops up <clears throat> if, it, if it'll load okay cool so we've got this patriotic looking um, you know thing that's kind of what we expect to see um, well that's all well and good maybe we want to add another one here you know uh, another 10 pixels so we get a little little separation in between them but um, I think a lot of you could see that managing this all the time and every time you change the content in the top one you gotta re rechange the how far down the second one is and um, you know what if I make this 300 because I want some more room then I gotta figure out how, how far to drop this one down that all gets very um, convoluted and time excuse me time uh, consuming very quickly so what a lot of people seem to miss on the views is the layout and vertical so I put this attribute layout vertical on the overview and what that's gonna do is uh, here let's put these back to how they were um, and we'll just move the header well declare all of these at the bottom so so you have uh, the layouts vertical and what it's going to do is the first thing that you add to it's going to be put on top and the second thing you add to it's going to be put uh, right below that so let's see how that works Okay, that's kind of what we wanted, right? That's kind of what we expected. Let's maybe drop this down to uh, 100 so we can kind of see it. And then we'll add a uh, top of 10 on here. And we can get what this top of 10 will do is it'll, since this gets added right below header, it'll put 10 pixels in between header and body. So let's see if that pops up. Um, it's not going to have the gap here because I pressed compile before I made that change, but. So there, oh, I guess it did catch that. Okay, so we got a hundred height header and a body of 200, and there's 10 in between. Well, okay, great. Um, so now we have kind of the basics of how to avoid that problem of having to do top and weird position absolutes and trying to do all this math of figuring out how far everything should be down all the time. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is maybe put some uh, elements, some some labels in it. So we'll kind of section this off a little bit. Let's see. We'll go um, do some some comments to help keep us organized. Header and uh, copy that. Just. We'll go body. Okay. Okay, so we have our overview and we have our header. And we're just going to ignore the body for a little bit. Um, how about some uh, text in the head? So we'll do var, uh, let's see, var head text equals ti.ui.create label. And we'll give this some properties. Let's see, we want. Um, let's go ahead and do a fixed width of 100 and height of 30. And we'll go text header. And we'll do background color green. So unless I screwed up somewhere, that looks good. And we'll add this to the header. Great. OK. Let's go ahead and compile that. Make sure everything's working like we think it should. 
Um, when you're working with views and stuff, I don't recommend writing a whole lot and then compiling at the end and trying to figure out what happened. Um, you know, add little bits at a time and um, maybe waste a little time compiling, but at least you can see how it pieces together and um, sort of fix problems as they arise instead of um, waiting until the end. Okay, so we have header. It's green. It's got a height of 30 and a fixed width of, uh, or yeah, a fixed width of 100. So that's why we have some stuff on the end. Um, one thing we can do if we just want, uh, we want this green box, this uh, head text to wrap the text exactly. So we're going to change the um, this width property to ti.ui.size. And you can do the same thing right here. Oops. Let's just copy and paste that. Um, so that works on text, and that would, in fact, work on the uh, <clears throat> on anything, um, pretty much any view. Um, so okay, let's see how that worked out. Okay, so we got headed and it's wrapped perfectly with the green. So if we were to take away that background color, it would just look like a nice little thing there, um, nice and centered and everything. So. Um, that's probably what you're looking for in a lot of labels. Um, the next thing is, as you notice, this is back in the middle of the view again. So we probably don't want that. So on header is what is going to be controlling that. So let's do a layout vertical again. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and iPhone simulator that guy. Again, this, sh this should bring this uh, green head text up to the top. If we give it a second here. Okay, header up at the top. Um, again, you can apply the top to one of these, so top, we'll go with 10. Uh, we're not going to run that right now. It's pretty basic. We'll see next time I run it. Um, so, great. Now let's uh, create another um, <coughs> text. We'll call it uh, head subtext. Head underscore sub text and this will be header subtext and let's make this one uh, let's make it orange and we'll have another top of 10 so it should be 10 below this one and we will add header dot add head subtext okay let's go ahead and run that make sure everything's working like we think it should Okay, header subtext, there you go. Um, <clears throat> here's another thing. Uh, let's see, let's let's do this a couple more times. Let's go with uh, sub, 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 and we'll go sub, sub. Okay, so we got header subtext, header subtext, header subtext. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and change these to match. Sub sub. And sub sub sub. And what we're going to see is that actually the sub sub subtext is missing because it is um, outside of the uh, header um, size. So let's see. 
it ever launches. Okay, yep, we're missing the sub sub sub. So to fix that, the, the error that we're having here essentially is that we have the height fixed. So it's only going to show 100 pixels no matter how much stuff is in that um, that uh, view. So we're going to change this one to ti.ui.size. As you can as you can see, the uh, ui.fill and ui.size become extremely useful. So we'll copy that one more time, make sure everything's going um, as we think it should. And uh, let's see. Header, sub, sub, sub. Great. We got it. Cool. Um, <clears throat> just for fun, let's go ahead and change this instead of fill. We can see how the size and fill really work. Size again. And we'll run that one more time. Okay, so we can see that it is actually wrapping the size of this. And if we wanted to put it over on the left, um, there's such a thing as left 0, or let's go with left 10. We'll give it a little bit of room. Well, let's start with left 0. We can see how it works first. And uh, that should drop it all the way. Oop, that is not the right one. Let's see. Left 0. So that should bring that red box all the way over to the right. Uh, I think this isn't going to catch my little change there. Or, yeah. Oh, okay, it did catch it. Okay, so we got it all the way over to the left now, so cool. Um, awesome. We could do, on all of these, we could do left zero. Let's see, control copy. Okay, so now we've got all of our uh, all of our subtext should be dropped right up against the edge of the screen. Yep, everything's right up against the edge of the screen, but a lot of people probably don't like that. I don't really like that. But we've already got all these lefts in everything. So the good part about doing everything inside of other views is that if we don't want everything ran up against the side, excuse me, we can just change this one to ten. So since all of those are inside of header, inside of that red square, and this is ten away then uh, from this is a left ten, then it will uh, push everything ten pixels away from the left side of the screen so you get a little bit of um, separation there, a little bit of a, a padding, however you want to put it. Um, and by the way, when I say pixels, I mean uh, density, independent pixels, or whatever the iPhone equivalent is, or whatever. Um, you guys are going to have to just bear with me, I like the word pixels, so it's easy. Okay, so everything's 10. Um, if we take away all these colors, all of a sudden this doesn't look so bad. Um, and that's really cool if you just want to keep adding lines of text below each other, or a picture, and then text below that and then another picture or something like that um, but what about if you want to get sort of a uh, maybe a picture here and a bunch of text on the right side um, so let's go ahead and do that in the body <clears throat> so let's see all well, right here we will go with uh, I call this view inception so we're gonna have uh, body Let's see, we'll go with uh, left bar, left text equals ti.ui.create label. Uh, let's see, width, we're going to be 
do ti.ui.sizeAgain. Height again is ti.ui.size. Uh, let's make the text left side. And let's do a background color gray. Okay. And let's go ahead and make a right side text. We'll have multiple parts in the right side, so we'll have a column of left side um, text and a column of right side text, and they're just going to sit next to each other, basically. So you could have an image there where that left side text is, or whatever you wanted. Uh, ti.ui.create label. We'll go with, uh, let's see, let's just copy this out right there. And text is going to be uh, right side. And uh, let's see, we're going to make this a background color of uh, orange. And we'll just copy that. And we'll go with right side again. Right side again. And we're going to make this one a background of green. Okay, so how do we go about getting the left text to stay on the left and the right text to stay on the right? Um, that's where you get, you start getting views inside of views inside of views because we want the right side one to be just above right side again. So we'll have um, something like this left side, tap tab, right side, right side again. You guys see what I mean? So that's how kind of the goal we're going for so we can have. You know, if we wanted, we could keep going on this other one right side again, again, and put as much as we want, and it's just going to keep dropping down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and stay all in this box. So that's what I'm showing you. Let's see. What you want to do is start out with a horizontal container. So I'll start with a. Um, we'll call it horizontal um, container. And it's just a regular view, create view, and it's going to be, um, let's see, first thing we want to do is lay out horizontal. Lay out horizontal as opposed to vertical. So what this is going to do is put elements next to each other. Um, if you want, we could try it out here with these header subs. So we'll go, um, instead of header, we'll go header underscore whores. We'll make another view called header whores. <laughs> All right. So var whores equals ti ui dot view kind of jumping around here a little bit, but um, I guess it's a good idea to demo what head, uh, horizontal views do before I start using them um, <clears throat> with other things inside of them. So, horizontal um, with ti.ui.fill height is ti.ui.size Let's just make this yeah, let's leave it fill. And we'll do background color pink. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that looks. So now all of these head sub sub subs are going to be lined up right next to each other. <clears throat> as opposed to sitting underneath each other. Unless I have any compiler errors, I think I'll be okay. Oh, invalid method. Yep, misspelled label. Let's see. And right there. 
Anything else? See what did I do here? Horizontal. Oh, I didn't add um, header horizontal to hor Okay, so we gotta go. Um, dot add header hors. So if you don't add it to anything, it won't show up. I guess that makes sense. <coughs> Okay, so now they're all just to the right and just does weird things when you run out of room <clears throat> a little bit. Um, anyway, so that's the way these work. It just puts them next to each other instead of putting them below each other. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll just leave it all in there. But we we'll won't add it so it doesn't show up. Now let's see how we can do this. Um, we're going to use a horizontal to create the uh, effect we wanted. So if you remember, we have a left text, a right side one, and a right side again. So we have a layout horizontal width of ti dot, dot fill and a height of ti dot ui dot size. So this will go all the way across the screen and then the size will be the uh, however tall all the stuff in it is <clears throat> and we will give this a uh, background color of uh, let's go with red okay um, before we forget let's body dot add horizontal container okay so if we were to add um, horizontal container dot add um, left side text, um, we were to add horizontal container dot add right side one horizontal dot underscore container dot add right side oops again what we're gonna get is all of these things right next to each other and that's almost what we want <clears throat> what we really want is right side one on top of right side again not all of them right next to each other um, so We'll see how, make sure this comes out like we think it's going to come out so far. Left side text. 111. Uh, let's see, what do we call it? Oh, just left text. So I guess, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, no good. We don't want that. We want left side and then all this to be to the right of the left side. So how do we do that? Well, the answer is we add another view. We go uh, vertical, inside, horizontal. R, let's see, equals ti.ui.create. view okay so we're going to create a view and this one yet again is going to be ti the width is going to be ti.ui.size height it's going to be ti.ui.size again uh, let's make this background color 
go with uh, pink. And uh, that should be everything. Oh, and we want this one to be a layout vertical. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of these. We'll do horizontal. Oh, we already have the container, so let's go with vertical inside horizontal dot add and we'll go right side one and we'll do the same thing for the right side again okay and then we need to make sure we add vertical inside horizontal We need to add that to horizontal container. Okay, so what we're going to have is the horizontal container containing the first thing we added was the left text. That's going to be the first thing on the left. And to the right of that is going to be a vertical container that's inside the horizontal container. And that vertical container is going to contain the right side and the right side again. So they should be on top of each other. So let's see how this all works out. Hopefully I don't have any typos. Oh, I do have a typo, let's see. Vertical inside horizontal. Oh, I didn't put an ad there, did I? No, I didn't. Dot ad. Try this one more time. Okay, there you have it. So left side, right side, right side again. Um, all of this is inside of another container that we could put at the top or whatever we wanted to do. But this other container is the uh, the horizontal container. And this pink one is the uh, vertical inside of horizontal container. So let's go ahead and change this uh, red one. Let's Instead of fill, let's make this size. Let's go ahead and put the uh, left text to the top, because that might look a little nicer. Zero. Um, let's see, is there anything else we want to mix up? Maybe, um, for now, that's probably good. Uh, let's give this a little bit of a, a little bit of a padding there. We'll go 20. Okay, so you have the left side, right side, right side again. Everything seems to be working perfectly. So um, basically that's how it works. Uh, I'll go ahead and launch the Android emulator um, as I talk about my final thoughts. And <clears throat> maybe I'll make another video when that actually launches. Um, who knows? Up oh, there, yeah, this is going to be a while. Um, I guess the, the bulk of, the, uh, of everything is over all of the information. Um, again, you can these don't have to be just text. You could put images in here, or buttons, or um, whatever you want. But you know, if you wanted to have something side by side again here, you just keep adding horizontal or vertical views, and that way you don't have to deal with everything being on top or um, you know whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> this is a lot easier than trying to say everything. You know, uh, this should be. Uh, 200 down, and this should be um, 110 down, and this should be 0 down, and this should be um, also 210 down, but to the left, 150. You know, you just keep adding vertical and horizontal um, layouts. It keeps everything a lot more simple. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let's see, this Android emulator is almost up. I believe all of this should have worked out fine unless I made some stupid error. Um, in the Android emulator. Uh, so let's see.
if it ever loads. Freaking Android, you know? Alright, let's um, go ahead and I will show you our mobile wine app in which um, uh, one of the guys working on it used this exact sort of process to create a profile page. You can see maybe what it looks like when everything's cleaned up and a little bit nicer. Um, so there's our Wine Life app. It's logging us in. And let's hit profile. There you go. So we have the image inside of a left text. This is all inside of another view. This is all a different view. Um, this is on the right. This is another horizontal view. Or sorry, this is all a vertical view. Um, yeah, I don't think this Android thing's going to load, but uh, this sh should all work on there anyway. And if it doesn't, then you're going to want to research why. Uh, maybe I'll add some comments or something. Uh, all right. Thank you.